med history. Tetanus is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Clostridium tetany with an acute course and a predominant lesion of the nervous system. Tetanus causative agent spores can persist for a long time in soil, water, and on any objects. Human infection occurs when Clostridium penetrates through damaged skin or mucous membranes. The basis of the clinical picture of tetanus is tonic convulsions of the muscles of the extremities and trunk, increasing muscle tension, opis thetonus. The most critical days are considered to be 10, 14 days of the disease. The probability of death is high. The disease was first described by Hippocrates, who also gave it a name, although tetanus is mentioned in the Bible. In the pre-vaccination era, the disease was called the scourge of war because of its frequent occurrence in the wounded. The causative agent of the disease was identified in 1883 by the Russian scientist Endy Monastirsky. The first morphological description of the bacterium was given in 1884 by the German therapist A. Nicolaer. In 1890, the Danish therapist K. Faber identified tetanus toxin. In 1890, bacteriologists S. Kitazato and E. Baring invented tetanus serum. In 1923, the French veterinarian G. Ramon received tetanus toxoid, which is used to prevent the disease. Formalin is added to the tetanus toxin and kept at high temperature. Cultural properties. The bacterium is an obligate anaerobe, that is, it lives only in an environment without oxygen. It has fibrinolytic activity, the ability to dissolve blood clots. It releases a toxin during the life of the bacterium, that is, it is an exotoxin. Morphological properties. Tetanus bacillus has two morphological forms, vegetative and spore. It has no capsules. The vegetative cell looks like a rod with rounded ends measuring 4, 8 x 0 0.3, 0 0.8 microns. It is mobile has up to 20 flagella, gram-stained positively, gram-positive, secretes a toxin. The spore form resembles a drumstick in appearance. It is formed under unfavorable environmental conditions, in the presence of oxygen at a temperature of at least 4 degrees C. At favorable temperatures, high humidity and lack of oxygen, spores germinate in the soil with the formation of vegetative cells, and this happens repeatedly, resulting in the accumulation of the pathogen in the external environment. Symptoms of tetanus manifestations. Pain at the site of infection. Trismus, convulsive contraction of the chewing muscles. Dysphagia, difficulty swallowing. Rigidity of the occipital muscles. Sardonic smile, specific tension of facial muscles. Progression, tonic convulsions of the muscles of the trunk and extremities. Stiffness of the abdominal wall. Muscles, limitation of movement in the limbs. Rapid and shallow breathing. Difficulty defecating and urinating. Opus thotinus, arching of the back with tilting of the head. Sudden tetanic seizures. Cyanosis, drawing muscle contours. Strengthening of opus thotinus. Systemic manifestations. Tachycardia arterial hypertension. Sweating salivation hyperthermia. Neurological manifestations. Clear consciousness before death. Disorders of consciousness before death. Deep toxic brain damage. High risk of heart muscle paralysis. Asphyxia. Other manifestations lung infection debilitating insomnia. Course, lung, incubation period of more than 20 days, moderate opus thotinus, absence of pronounced tonic seizures, moderate, incubation period 15, 20 days, moderate seizures, subfebrile temperature, tachycardia, severe, shortened incubation period, rapid onset of symptoms, frequent seizures, sweating, tachycardia, fever, lightning fast. The incubation period is less than a week. The deployment of the clinic in a few hours, frequent seizures, severe disorders on the part of organs and systems. Bulbar, descending, ascending, local. Rare forms of tetanus with characteristic clinical manifestations. The spread of the pathogen is widespread, but it is more common in hot and humid regions. Tetanus bacillus can be found in soil, street dust, vegetable gardens, including vegetables, gardens, meadows, objects contaminated with earth and feces, wire, nails, etc. Normally, the bacterium lives in the intestines of herbivorous animals. It can even be detected in the human intestine, up to 40% of cases, without causing any harm to it. Tetanus from animal and human feces enters the soil, where it accumulates, mainly in the form of spores. Who estimates that about 34,000 newborns died of tetanus in 2015? This is 96% less than in 1988.
when 787,000 newborns died from tetanus during the first month of life. In 2017, the disease claimed the lives of 30,848 newborns. There is no reliable data on adults, according to some estimates. About 300,000 people die annually in the world, mainly in the Asian, African, and Latin American regions. The mechanism of tetanus infection is contact through any wound surface. The entrance gates are damaged skin and mucous membranes, abrasions, wounds, including surgical ones, splinters, burns, frostbite, etc. In deep wounds in the absence of oxygen, spores turn into vegetative cells producing tetanus toxin. And this happens much more often than with superficial wounds. In developed countries, among unvaccinated people who do not seek medical help, up to 98% of cases of infection occur through microtrauma mainly of the lower extremities. In case of injuries, childbirth, criminal abortions, nail puncture, etc., they become infected less often. In such cases, people, as a rule, immediately seek medical help. In countries with a low level of medical development, on the contrary, morbidity as a result of more serious injuries prevails, since most do not go to medical institutions. It is important to note that almost 100% of cases occur in people who have not been vaccinated and have not sought medical help. Characteristics of the pathogen Clostridium tetani is a gram-positive, modal, obligately anaerobic and spore-forming rod-shaped bacterium. It looks like drumsticks or tennis rackets due to the spores located at the end. It is extremely stable in the environment. In the form of spores, it can remain viable for years, at a temperature of 90 degrees C about two hours. The spores transform into vegetative forms at a temperature of 37 degrees C under anaerobic conditions and in the presence of aerobic flora, for example, staphylococcal. Vegetative forms of clostridium are sensitive to boiling. They die after a few minutes. Antiseptic and disinfectants act on these microorganisms for three, six hours. Clostridium tetani secretes exotoxin, tetanospasmin, and cytotoxin, tetanolysin acting on the human nervous system. Tetanospasmin is the strongest toxin. It penetrates into the processes of nerve cells and enters the central nervous system, suppressing inhibitory signals and synapses, preventing the release of inhibitory mediators. At first, the effect of the toxin spreads only to the peripheral synapses, causing tetanic seizures. Tetanolysin has a destructive effect on blood cells, tissue of the cardiac sac and membranes, and causes local necrosis. Rodents, birds, herbivores, and humans are the reservoir and source of tetanus spread. The pathogen is contained in the intestines of the carrier and is released into the environment with feces. Due to the possibility of prolonged existence in the form of spores in soil, reservoirs, on objects, the tetanus pathogen can enter with dust and dirt into almost any premises, be on any materials, including medical instruments and dressings. The path of infection is contact. Bacteria enter the body through damaged skin or mucous membrane, contamination of bruises and abrasions, splinters, animal bites, etc. If the necessary aseptic and antiseptic measures are not followed, infection may occur during the treatment of burns, frostbite, injuries, and surgical wounds. Direct transmission of infection from a sick person to a healthy person is impossible. Human susceptibility to tetanus is high, immunity is not formed. Since a very small dose of tetanospasmin is sufficient for the development of the disease, which is unable to cause an immune response, the entrance gate is a soft tissue wound. At the site of injury, the causative agent of tetanus multiplies and accumulates a toxin, tetanospasmin and tetanolysin. Tetanospasmin is partially released into the external environment during the life of a microbial cell and partially after its death. Through the lymphatic and circulatory pathways, it reaches the neuromuscular synapse, interacts with the nervous tissue, and then with the current of the intraneural fluid is transferred to the bodies of motor neurons, motor neurons, of the central nervous system, that is to the anterior horns of the spinal cord, the spinal cord stem, and the fourth ventricle of the brain. Damage to neurotransmitter proteins occurs, which results in the blocking of inhibitory effects. As a result, the muscles receive only impulses of excitement. Muscle tone increases sharply, hypertonus, muscle reflexes increase, hyperreflexia, which leads to pronounced seizures with any irritation, even a breath of wind. Complications of tetanus. 
Laryngospasm is a sharp involuntary contraction of the laryngeal muscles in which breathing becomes difficult, up to asphyxia and death. Fractures due to sharp and severe cramps, possible rupture of ligaments, hypertension, increased blood pressure, nosocomial, nosocomial infections. Pulmonary embolism is a blockage of the pulmonary arteries by blood clots. Pulmonary embolism, pulmonary embolism. Aspiration pneumonia is inflammation of the lungs due to ingestion of vomit, saliva, etc. Death from asphyxia, heart palsy, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia. Diagnosis of tetanus. The clinical picture of tetanus is quite specific for diagnosis. Autopsy materials, dressing and suture materials, flushes from surgical instruments, dust, soil, air, can be examined for the identification of the pathogen. Isolation of the pathogen is usually possible from the site of infection, scraping or separating at the site of skin damage. Sometimes there is a need for smears from the nose and mucous membrane of the pharynx, vagina, and uterus in case of postpartum or postabortum tetanus. By examining the obtained biological material, tetanus exotoxin is isolated and a biological test is performed on mice. The prognosis of tetanus depends on the form of the course, which is more severe the shorter the incubation period and the faster the clinical symptoms unfold. Severe and lightning-fast forms of tetanus are characterized by an unfavorable prognosis. With failure to provide timely assistance, a fatal outcome is possible. Mild forms of tetanus are successfully cured with proper therapy. Nonspecific prevention, prevention of injuries, skin damage, followed by contamination of the wound with earth and feces. Adequate surgical treatment of any wounds. There is no need to delay first aid even for minor uninfected wounds, such as blisters, scratches, or other skin damage. It is necessary to wash them with soap, treat them with antiseptics. If the wound is more serious, you need to contact a surgeon or a traumatologist.